I am the very model of the candidate political life. His sharp wit and creativity mixed music and stand-up comedy through parodies planked out on a trademark American flag-themed piano. There really isn't any comedian, uh, certainly of his stature or talent and our comedic heritage, that was quite like him. Tonight, the marquee outside the National Comedy Center in Jamestown is lit in honor of Russell, who was a founding advisory board member. The Comedy Center also houses Russell's archives, and because his skits were often about current events, going through them is like taking a walk through time. It's like a history book of exactly what was going on in our culture at the time, um, but through a lens of someone that was bringing it to us in parody form uh, with comedic lyrics and making everyone on any uh, part of the political spectrum laugh in the process. Indeed, even the figures he made fun of respected him. He had a way of poking fun that was biting but charming, having figured something out a long time ago. That people are more receptive to the point being made when they're laughing. So there's actually science behind that. So what Mark was doing was bridging the divide in terms of the polarity, and he even, you know, he, and he poked fun at both sides. And he did it all with a wink and a nod and a piano. I plan to say what pleases every different kind of resident until I count enough of them to vote for me as president. In short, because I bear in mind that winning's very critical, I am the very model of a candidate political. Mark Russell, born Joseph Russlander in Buffalo in 1932, attended Canisius High School and often said he didn't need to hire comedy writers because he had 535 of them. At his <laughs> 435 of whom were members of the House of Representatives, 100 others in the Senate. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.